Hey everybody, it's me, an old lady whose body is falling apart. I had to go to the doctor today for a combination of two of the most embarrassing health problems in the world. Uh, so one, my vagina is sick. Uh, in February, I went in for my exam, you know, that ladies get, and um, everything was fine except I had some kind of like bacterial infection called bacterial vaginosis, which is exceedingly common, apparently. So they gave me some antibiotics, whatever, I took them, blah, 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 blah. Like a month later, same problem. I'm like, oh, I'm going to share that I have this problem, but maybe I won't share my symptoms just because, you know, I don't think that we're at that level of intimacy, you know, like viewer creator. I'm like a content creator, but I don't know if that's the content that I want to create is like graphic descriptions of my vaginal problems. That being said, they gave me more antibiotics and I took those in April and now it's uh, July and my pussy, she's sick again. She's sick again. And I noticed, I mean, I've been noticing like my cycle's been really weird for the past couple months. That's not too uncommon. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS when I was a teenager, but I don't know if that's actually what it is just because in later years I've learned that PTSD causes a rise in cortisol levels, which is a stress hormone, and that can also cause sim like basically all the same symptoms as PCOS. Anyway, so I, w I was just like this morning, I was like taking a shower and I'm just like, oh, this isn't good. This is not good. This is again. So luckily I called the doctor and they were able to get me in today. And uh, yeah, so I, you know what's nice about a modern doctoring is that they let you do your own vaginal swab just the dignity the dignity of it she leaves the room you just get in there you swirl it around and uh yeah so i got prescribed uh some pussy medications that i would like to show you i mean it's nothing too ex extreme this first one is just clindamycin which is just like a regular antibiotic which is a different antibiotic than the ones i've taken before because apparently they didn't work i was, she was like is anything new in your life and i was like no and she said uh any new partners and i was like lady i have not gotten laid since february thank you and i was like furthermore i threw out all my sex toys because this keeps on happening and not only that but like there's like some there's some like lingering effects that like are not pleasant one of them being i this is going to be a graphic video just heads up heads up one of them being like some fun dryness issues so she get, she recommended this to me, which I found in the menopause aisle, so that's fun. <laughs> in this exam, she was like, listen, I mean, you're 32 years old, and I was like, okay, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm old, maybe the change of life is happening, and she was like, no, no, you're 32, you're young, you should be having regular periods, and you should be having regular healthy pussy activity. So I'm just gonna recommend this to you. So this is a lubricant I get to use twice a day for eight weeks. So that's fun. And then another thing Target didn't have, uh, <laughs> she's lactobacillus acidophilus, which apparently is a tablet that I have to insert whoop, directly into the vagina for four days after my antibiotics are done. Another fun thing that she recommended to me was vinegar douching. Literally, she said, it has to be super duper diluted, but go ahead and douche with some vinegar because your pH balance is fucked and the vinegar might help you. So I have to go back in in a couple weeks to talk to a midwife about all this stuff. So anyway, so that's embarrassing health problem number one. Number two is I can't poop. <laughs> I just got to go in and the, like, the nurse practitioner was like, okay, and what, what can I tell the doctor? And I was like, well... My vagina's fucked, but not really. It's, it's fucked up. And also, I cannot poop. And so, I, she's like, just take some stool softeners. And I was like, but I have pains here and here. Are you sure it isn't, like, cancer or something? She was like, you have to poop. It's fine. You're going to be fine. And um, in order to aid this, I have, like, stool softener. And then also, I decided that... Starting last night, I was going to go on like a liquid diet just for a couple days just to give my intestines a break and hopefully like flush out some of this shit 
this just accumulated. So I got a whole bunch of soft and liquid foods. It's like 7 p.m. All I've had to eat today is one of those like bolt house smoothies and a cup of tomato basil soup. So I'm pretty hungry. Uh, this, this is my liquid diet. Okay, I have some Ensure. That's nutritious. Then I also got, it's not really liquid, I guess it's more like goop. I got a couple non-liquid items, but like, it's gonna be way different than my regular diet of just like eight pounds of raw vegetables and like, uh, hearty breads and that sort of thing. Like, I feel like maybe it's caused by the fact that I have too much fiber. I don't know. But I got some, I got some yogurt, which also, strangely enough, she recommended for the vaginal problems as well. Now, I heard years ago that you can stick yogurt directly on your vagina to, like, cure problems, but I don't think they mean this, like, sugary shits. They probably mean, like, unflavored Greek yogurt or something like that. I also got just some like microwave rice, like chicken flavor. It's not liquid, but it's so soft. I just feel like it will be easy to process. And some more tomato basil soup. And then also like a vegetable soup. Like it's, it's kind of chunky, but I feel like again, it's gonna be easier on my system. Um, the other thing I got now, I'm real interested to try this. So these are some of these like fruit pack things. It's got apple, it's go-go squeeze blasts with a Z, blasts. And it's got apple, mango, pineapple, guava, and passion fruit. I've never had a guava. I wonder what a guava tastes like, but I'm gonna try this. Okay, spins off like a helicopter. And you, oh, ew, oh, kind of sprayed on me. Okay, this is kind of like, it's like fancy applesauce, basically. So, that's what's going on with me. It's basically, I just like, this morning, I just got, I've just been so worked up about all of these problems with my health. Just like, oh, I'm bloated, I have pains, my pussy's broken, what's going on? Is it because I'm drinking too much? Is it because I'm smoking? Yeah, I just not, I just need to poop and douche with some vinegar, apparently. And, um, so that's my story. S stay tuned for more riveting content.